All right, in this video, we're going to solve a slightly more advanced uh, solving equations with elimination problem. Just as a reminder, to solve a system of equations with elimination, and these are more advanced, we have to use multiplication here. We first line up the like terms legally. We're going to multiply one or both equations by a value so that we can eliminate a variable. In this particular example, we're going to have to multiply both equations. And then we're going to perform the elimination, add or subtract the equations to eliminate, and then solve as usual. So here's the example. In the previous example, we just multiplied one equation, but I hope you can see that there's no number we can multiply just one of these equations by to get these variables to, to line up for elimination. So in this case, we're really going to have to multiply both equations. And just take a look at this number 5 and 4. The numbers 5 and 4 have a g, uh, I'm sorry, a least common multiple. The least common multiple, which is the smallest number, which is a multiple of both 5 and 4, is 20. So if we were to eliminate the x's, we'd have to multiply this first equation by 4 and the second equation by 5. Or you could take a look at these other values. We have a 3 and a 5, and the least common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. And it really is uh, personal preference, which you want to do. Uh, I think I'm going to eliminate y, just because I like that negative sign there. So I'm actually going to try to get this to be a negative 15y, and this to be a 15y. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to multiply this first equation by something so that I get negative 15. So I'm going to multiply this by 5. I'm going to have to multiply the second equation by something so that this also becomes 15y, or we're actually trying it to line up with negative 15y, and I'm going to multiply that by 3. So this entire second equation, we're going to multiply by 3. So let's write these two equations. Equation number 1, or equation number A. I like to label my equations. So this first equation, we're going to multiply it by 5, and I get 25x minus 15y equals 5 times 16 is 80. The second equation, after I multiply this by 3, the entire equation by 3, I get 12x plus 15y equals negative 6. And now I'm ready to set up or to, um, to perform the elimination by either adding or subtracting these equations. And in this case, because I have a negative 15y and a positive 15y, I'm going to add them. So I'm going to add these equations together. 25x plus 12x is 37x. Uh, negative 15y plus 15y cancels out. And an 80 minus 6 is... 74. To solve, simply divide both sides by 37, and I get x equals 2. And now I plug it back in. I could plug it back into whatever equation is easiest. I like my original two equations, a and b. In fact, I'm going to plug it into equation b. Um, your mileage may vary. I'm going to use equation b, which says that 4x and again, we now know what x is. Four, x is 2. 4x plus 5y equals negative 2. And so now I'm going to solve. This is 8 plus 5y equals negative 2. Subtract 8 from both sides. And we get 5y equals negative 10, or y equals negative 2. So my ordered pair for my final answer is going to be 2 comma negative 2. Put it in parentheses to indicate the ordered pair. And as always, I can check my answer by plugging it back into one of the original equations.